So guys, what's going on? So we've been looking at some speakers in the past several weeks, in the past several videos, and I've been going to the dark side of Amazon, as I've been saying. That's pretty much where you just search for a product, you go to the very end of the list and see which one fits you best. Because nine times out of 10, they're gonna be cheaper than the rest. Not only because they're bad products, it's probably down to the matter of fact that that company can't spend as much on advertisements as other companies can. So unfortunately, their product just gets pushed further and further to the back. That's what I've kind of found anyways. So we looked at a speaker a while ago from a company called EWA. Not sure if that's a company name, but that's the branded name. And it was a little mini speaker, tiny little speaker, and I thought it was incredible. So we found another one that was from the same company. So it should be interesting. Going to be taking a look at this little guy. And today we're looking at the Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key. So what we need to do from here is go down below and actually type by now. From here, we have promotion code. Now, if you type in the code SKJT, which is SKJT, and click on apply. So straight away, you have now reduced your price down from £15.63 to £11.72. Now I'm gonna use PayPal because it's what I use every day. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so as you can see from the screen, my purchase being confirmed. I've got my order number. It's gonna send us back to the user center and then we can carry on the process from there and see where to go next. So what we need to do from here is go to the right where it says review keys and codes, click on that. Now on the bottom here, we do have a little yellow tab that says get the key. So I'm gonna click it. Mine's gonna be blurred out, but yours won't be. So there we go, we've got, the th we've got the two different keys there. We've got number, which is just your order number. You don't need to worry about that one. And then you've got your code slash card, which is the key you actually need for Windows 10. So what we're gonna do is actually highlight this. Click on Control C or right click and copy. Then we need to go over the settings and actually activate this. So click settings. Up in the top left hand corner, type in activation and then activation settings. From here, it says change product key. Now, if I click on change product key, control V and there's the order number there. So what you need to do is paste your order number in there, click on next. Windows is actually gonna check to make sure it's a genuine key. If it's not, it won't accept it. But some of the comments I got on some of the previous videos, this can be a free update to Windows 11 as well. So if you don't have this, you don't have to worry about anything else you'll be able to upgrade for free to Windows 11 as well as. So now we've had a look at Windows 10 Pro OEM key. I've got one more thing I want to show you. Now this is the Windows 10 Pro OEM key and Office 2016 Professional Plus. Now, as we can see on the right hand side, it was reduced from 327 pounds 78 pence down to 40 pound 21, but I've got a cheeky little discount for you as well. Now on the bottom here, promotion code SKJT. SKJT will also be in the description just in case. So click on apply. And it goes from £40.21 pence down to £30.16. So let's have a little look, see what we get inside the box. So if we take this out, very simple. Little cable here, and we also get a little tiny user manual. So I definitely think that they need to overlook their packaging because that's a lot for one speaker. Right, we're definitely going to have to come back to that in a second. So pretty much what we've got here is USB to micro USB, nothing fancy, no Type-C or anything like that. Uh, this is pretty much all we've got working with so which isn't a massive issue isn't too bad And then we just get a little tiny user manual here And this is pretty much just going to tell you how to connect it to Bluetooth how to charge it and That's pretty much all you get so nothing exciting Now the speaker itself Now we can see already we've got the EWA logo going on which is stamped out and then we've got the metal plate on top Which has got all the tiny little holes going from very small to larger holes allowing for I suppose for even dissipation of the sound and I don't know if you can see that. They've went for more of like a bevel design, which I do actually like. I do like the bevel design, which is quite nice. They've went for more of a gun gray on the outside, polished steel on the top. And then we also have the three feet as well as the little damper here, which I'm just gonna take these little protectors off going on there. I remember doing the one that I did previously about this. I will stick it up in the cards if you wanna go check it out. Uh, and it was pretty much relatively similar. I think it was maybe smaller. I'm not too sure It might not be as small, but it's relatively still small So like I said, we'll have a little look around here So first of all, we have this little changer that I'm not 100% sure what it is. I thought it was a volume control, but it is 
So it's called selfie. I'm not sure what that means. So if you guys can see that there. So selfie, please tw press twice to switch into selfie mode under Bluetooth parent status. Press to shoot photos under selfie mode. Make sure the Bluetooth was connected to between a smart device. So I'm assuming if you connect this to a smart device and click it, you can basically take photos with your phone. Now that I have not seen through a speaker, um, which is relatively quite weird. That's probably something I'm not going to test out. Um, but don't worry about it. If you get one, probably do test it out. So we do have the micro USB port on the side. A little bit more, we do have the micro SD card slot as well. And that is all we get. So this isn't volume controlled, which isn't a massive issue. You can only control the volume from your phone or the device you're using, which isn't a massive issue, I have to admit. And then on the bottom, we do have a little bit of information, but this is actually the damper for the speaker. So that's pretty much where most of your sound's gonna come from. And then overall, not too bad. So not really much else we can talk about this, but what we need to do is actually get this plugged in, get it connected to Bluetooth and actually do a sound quality test. So let's do that now. Right, first off, that button on the side, it also turns it on. So if you hold it down, uh, it turns on the speaker, which I didn't actually realize. So I'm gonna get my phone here. I'm gonna go over to Bluetooth settings. Turn Bluetooth on and see what the device is called. So Bluetooth settings, well, we really need to stop connecting to so many things. Ah, so this is called the EWA Audio A109 Mini. Okay, so that's connected, which is pretty cool. So now we're connected to that. We need to get some music played up. So where can I find music that I'm not going to get copyright striked? Right. First of all, like I was just testing a little piece there to see what it was like. This is volume control. So we can actually control the volume by this little rocker. It does go left and right. So I apologize for my last comment. It is actually volume controlled. So let's play another song. So I'm gonna go back, pick a random song from YouTube as we normally do. I didn't expect this to happen. I thought this was going to sound absolutely horrendous and it has no place on this channel whatsoever, but I was wrong. I, that was just a random song. That wasn't preloaded or anything. I just got it from YouTube library, so I don't get copyrighted or anything like that. But did you see that little guy moving? Like, that was incredible, wasn't it? I want to play one more song. I'm just going to pick a random one again, the one that I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, give that a click. No, I don't want to favorite it. Uh, play that. Go download, view. As you can see, it is volume controlled if I move that back up. really sure what's going on at the moment so that that really is incredible i have to admit like i didn't expect it to be i didn't expect it to be loud i didn't expect it to actually be able to control bass just because of its pure size uh, i thought it'd be very distorted there is a, a small amount of distortion when it's on full volume both on here as well as the device but it's not actually that bad like i have to admit that really that is something this is something i actually will take around with me from now on i definitely have to admit if i'm walking around or I've got my camera bag on me. I'm, this is probably going to live in there now because that was surprisingly really, really good. So it's definitely got to be a thumbs up from me. 
So I've always said when it comes to things like this, it really is down to personal preference of what you're physically looking for. Do I really need it? Do I want it? Is it gonna fit my purpose? Now, I was quite surprised with this guy that it actually did fit for purpose because if you just want a small little speaker you can carry around with you, you know, you can keep in your pocket, your backpack or on the go, you just want to listen to some calm music, doing things outside or indoors. This is pretty much the little thing you need. It is literally tiny. Look at it. Look at the size of that little thing. And I gotta admit, I really did enjoy it. I think the only thing I didn't like was the bottom where the damper actually is. There's no protection. But I suppose you can't really protect something that's this small. And construction-wise, it really is incredible. Now, if you do want to go check one out for yourself, head down the links in the description. There'll be a link there so you can go buy one for yourself. But like I said, think about it. Is it fit for purpose or do I just really want one because it's really cool? Plus, its design is really cool. So I have to admit, it really is incredible. Go check it out. Why not? Head down the links in the description. If you've got any issues with it, drop in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos.